Okay, so today I'm making playful soap, and this soap was a bit of an undertaking. I have to use six different colors, and the base of it is a nice white. Um, but what happened today, I actually um, got rid of the audio on the original video and did a voiceover instead so I could explain what's happening with this soap. So basically, this soap thickened really quickly. Sometimes that happens when you're using certain fragrance oils, and this one definitely got thick a little quicker than it usually does. It is always a little bit tricky, and I had thought about changing the fragrance of it because I have to use so many colors, but I decided to stick with it, and today um, it was a little harder than it normally is, and I'm making such a large batch of it with 100 bars that it makes it a little bit tricky, but I just had to work really quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm pouring um, all of the, the six colors in. I'm going in with the, the pink now and layering it on top of the yellow, and then all of that sits on top of a white base, and then you can see the purple going in. I had to keep stirring the soap colors into the soap because it just wanted to harden and I didn't want to lose the batch of soap, so that's what I'm doing there. I'm saving a little bit in each one of the containers so that I can put it on the top as well. But it was a really messy soaping day, as you can see in the background. I had originally wanted to have this a little more fluid so that the colors would pour into the white base a little bit better, but Sometimes you just have to work with whatever situation you're, you've been given with um, the way the batch behaves. And each batch is different no matter how much you plan. Something always um, can change with it. So I decided to just kind of layer it and then you'll see me at the end putting a bit of a, a swirl through it. But not much. I actually just want to bring it up um, one layer of color into the next kind of slightly and let them just be separate. Sorry, the dog started barking. Um, it is now Friday, almost at dinner time here, and I'm actually going to be putting this up um, the same day that I filmed it. It was a really busy Friday in the studio. I had to pack and ship some things. Um, I needed to make cream, which is one of the pots in the background that will sit overnight and get this soap made. So now I'm running this um, wire swirler through and kind of bringing it up from the bottom up to the top and we'll see what it looks like on Monday when I actually cut this and then I'll put another video up of the cutting so you can see what it looks like on Monday. This is all I'll have time to do today. So right now I'm just putting the what remained in each of the containers on the top and then I'm going to give it a nice swirl and then spritz it with alcohol and then finally put some glitter on top. So I'm just using my chopstick to go through and bring all the colors together into a pretty swirl pattern. And I'll do that for both of these um, large slab molds. So these soaps are made into, um, I use two large slab molds that my son made for me. And together they'll make about 100 bars. So this is a pretty large batch. I'm doing most of my batches like this. But I would like to actually do... Um, maybe a challenge or something to just kind of keep my creativity in check and do some really small loaf batches that I could do just for this channel. 
with some more creative designs and things like that when I'm not working with so much soap batter. So if you would, in the comments, leave some ideas of soaps that you would like to see, maybe with some embeds, um, different fragrances or color patterns, maybe a theme or something like that. And I'll use those soaps to, um, to sell in my monthly Facebook group sales and for giveaways here on YouTube. So that's really it. Thank you so much for watching again as I figure out um, video and grow this channel. And I'll get better as I go, but I'm just going to keep uploading.